Hello there, good folks watching the daily vlog. Welcome to day 26. It's an off day from training, but we might have some delectable delicacies on the way onto our plate later today. And we have yesterday's export running there. Okay, I think it's day before yesterday. See, when I say off, I mean off from the gym, but on, on the productivity outside of the gym. Coincidentally, today happens to be the day I have more than usual transmission plans and coaching emails, maybe perhaps looking at how the next couple hours could be flying in and flying out. So that's just like a win-win for me. So tunnel vision. And we would also do just two meals, you know, just to save up on some time. And uh, yeah, no food until afternoon. Except of course, delicious black coffee. All right, we got meal number one, some delicious pungal. Before that, you guess it right, egg whites. Let's get it going. We have two fairly large servings of egg whites for the day because we are just doing two meals. Okay, that's not my egg white. That is. Bada boom, bada bam. That's there. And while that's getting ready, surprise, surprise, we have a delicious fries made. Well, not fries, fries. Badagam, basically, in Tamil. And. Mmm. These are the ones I showed you in the vlog the other day. No, it was getting made. So basically they made it at home and then let it dry. Absolutely delicious, man. This is my huge weakness, yeah? If stuff like this is there at home, I'm definitely diving in. Let's get that down. Lovely. Quick, quick, quick. I'll wrap this up. Get some more work done. Pongal. It's actually a very delicious and good meal. And to get that flavor, you don't need a lot of ghee. Like for this entire portion, I've used like what, five grams of ghee? Like I could have even got off with like 2.5, but I thought like five was, you know, a medium portion. The only problem is uh, in restaurants, obviously they overdo it to elevate the taste even more. And that's why Pongal might not be the most calorie conscious food when you get it from a restaurant. Obviously they're concerned more about taste than your visible abs. But yeah, it's a delicious meal if you bring your own version. And a lot of hotels, unfortunately, if I'm not wrong, don't use actual ghee. They use an alternative that is cheaper and not so good for you, so. Oh, the fun part. Some delicious chutney with some lentils mashed in. What I would do is take some of these fried accompaniments and then dip that in that and enjoy. That's the good stuff. And of course, we added some veggies to the meal. Should have the fiber and micronutrition profile. Some potatoes as well on the side. Oh, that looks nice and spicy. It's gonna go well with the pungal. So I'm gonna wrap that meal, then catch you probably for some more work. And that's a wrap on all the work until noon. We'll probably go catch up with some more work later. It's actually not noon, it's like three hours past noon. On the bright side, I do have a heck of appointment, finally. Okay, so it's been a long, long while since, obviously, you saw me just like one second ago because I can put a transition. But uh, what happened is I basically, you know, it's an off day from training, so there's nothing much for me to actually show you. There's no training and we just did one meal and the next meal is gonna be the last meal of the day. So all I was doing was working. Now, usually when I get deep into work, I'm not someone who loves, uh, you know, filming video, taking the camera and just kind of, you know, showing time lapses or whatever. I used to do that actually in a lot of my older vlogs, but then once I got serious into coaching and got into the slightly professional quote unquote lifestyle, I started just, you know, not letting anything become a tangent onto my focus. So that's what I've been up to, but interesting fact, I have been snacking on some good stuff. Do you guys remember, okay, I'm gonna just show you from the lid end, okay. You remember these fried accompaniments, you know, we made at home, like it was entirely homemade and then fried in some healthy oil compared to like just some snack you get outside. So it's still, uh, you know, it's loaded in calories, but still the good stuff. The people in the house had some obviously, but I basically went to town on that. So look at that, that's how much is left. Do you see what I'm talking about? So I've been snacking on that all day. Easily that could rack up calories for a whole meal by itself, but still, that's okay, you know, it's all part of the plan. Cravings have to be accounted for in any transformation. And you know, I'm human, I have cravings occasionally, and we went to town on that box. Anyway, so I'm gonna get back to some more shoveling the coal, and I'll catch you with the last meal of the day, which is absolutely delicious. Well, at least for me. It's so good. That's the last thing you want. You want to walk out and have food particles in your beard. Trust me, had it done too many times to me to never repeat that mistake. We are back in the kitchen. Finally, a ton of work has been wrapped. I still do have just a little though, but then once again, 
might need some energy to get the brain functioning full on, to get that creativity flowing in, to be able to work. So, fries and mayo. Yes, you heard that right. Step one is Urulai Karang. So basically, take some burritos. See, I was this smart ass and then I figured I'd probably do the prep early and then eat it late at night. So I asked the help to kind of, you know, chop it up in the morning and now it's gone all brown. Tambi pinadi ponga? Pinadi ponga. So yeah, so we're going to boil the potatoes firstly. We're making something close to fries but without actually using a microwave or convection or whatever. It's my personal recipe that I've done a lot of times. I just I think stumbled upon it but it's phenomenal and very easy. It does have a little bit of time though because you know you'll have to boil the potatoes otherwise they're going to be terrible. You want to really salt it and I'm not asking you to overdo the salt. In the potatoes, just over it in the water. I mean, obviously they're together, but you're going to drain the water. So adding extra salt will anyway go away and you have a better chance of a nice salty flavor getting absorbed into the fries. But, you know, obviously watch your total daily salt intake. That can be very, very important because if you're already having high protein, there is still a slight stress on the kidneys compared to the version of you who's having not that much protein. So to make garlic mayo at home, it is probably one of the easiest recipes, but also very easy to screw up because I've done it a few times. You will first need, uh, take a wild guess, garlic. Okay, I need to find, there it is. We need some garlic, we need some lemon, salt, a ton of oil and the only protein food, egg whites, which is gonna be like, like 5% or 3% in the entire meal. I just spent so long trying to figure out where's the smaller Mixer jug, looked all around the kitchen, yeah? Look at that. It's inside the bigger jug. There we go. Yeah, so first we crack an egg white. By the way, I'm not great at making mayo. Barely, I've made it like a few times. So usually the egg white goes first and then the garlic and then you blend it to perfection or to something close to perfection in your own terms. Never put the yolk. Once I was trying to be really smart and I was like, oh yeah, let's get the protein, let's get the flavor and I added the yolk. Terrible. First mistake. Never add the yolk making mayo. I mean, there are some people who do that. There's a version where you add the yolk. Probably I did it wrong. So, but look into it and then do it properly. Don't spoil or end up wasting food like I did. Where's the garlic? Where's the garlic? And too much garlic, once again, is another mistake. You need like a very small percentage of how much is there in that bowl. So probably just like small pinch. It can be very overpowering as well. 90% of it is going to be just oil, which is why mayo is very dense in calories. The potato is boiling, which is good. I think we'll leave it for, I totally forgot how long I usually leave it for because it's been so long. So we'll have to use the fork method to look at the softness and decide if it's done. Okay, that's actually getting thick, which is good. We need to blend a bit more. So it's still liquidy, but yeah, I think in due time, it should be fine. I'm not entirely sure if we should add the lemon now or later, but uh, let's start with the oil. I'm using a flavored oil. I'm using sesame oil, primarily because uh, I like the flavor. I'm okay with it and it's very healthy. But for mayo, you want to use a neutral oil. Don't use the one that all hotels use, you know, it's congealed vegetable fat. Don't do that. Like, it is extremely processed and terrible for you. Don't use palm oil. Uh, you know, there's still like work going on on that. Use something like... I think rice bran is perhaps a slightly better choice. Once again, when it comes to oil, there's multiple studies. So I usually stick to the general, you know, safe line. Sesame, groundnut, ghee, coconut, pretty safe. So we have our oil very slowly. We need to add it, having a food processor or a food blender. I don't know whatever they call it. It's a huge machine. I think it's a food processor. So having something like that uh, will obviously allow you, it'll have a small opening in the top. You can slowly drizzle it, but uh, Oof, that smells of strong garlic. The consistency looks uh, pretty okay than before, but yeah, it needs to get a bit more. I'm not actually uh, filming the actual blending because you know it's just really noisy and annoying. So just imagine me going wing on the blender. Doesn't look like we're making any progress. I'll probably squeeze in some uh, lemon. We don't want to get the seeds in. I already added a little bit of oil, so I'm adding some more. Should probably add it slower than that. I'll be asked. Yeah. 
Okay, I think there's some improvement. The consistency is getting better. It's spilling all over the place. Should we just add more oil? Okay, I'm gonna look it up. Okay, not being brave. Mayo recipe. What? One egg, salt, pepper, vinegar, mustard, what? Okay, I think it's just blending. So we're gonna try a different technique. I'm gonna use my uh, hand blender, which, okay, we need the blender pins. Why is that rusty? I haven't used this in a long, long time. I think the last time I did mayo, I didn't use that. I'm gonna have to search for the pins now. Nope. I think I saw it somewhere recently and then Patiani and the pins and the roller Patiani. Huh? Yeah. Okay. We'll use this hand blender instead. I didn't know this one was downstairs. I thought I had this in my room because I used to make smoothies there. Lovely. Bye bye, old school. Hello, new school. Is it Yeah. Ah. This is actually a brilliant tool. It's from Braun, I don't think I was able to find this in India, but uh, once again, I didn't even know this existed. Uh, someone close gifted this to me. It's been extremely handy. Nice. Let's see how the mayo handles this. See, it's still fairly thick, but not thick enough is what I would say. And finally, we have some mayo. Nice. That's like 300, 350 or 400 calories right there. Crazy, man. The volume. Let's do our potatoes. Get some ghee action. Ooh. Ideally, uh, you can spread out the potato fingers on a tissue just so the moisture is absorbed. But when you don't have the time, you just pick it and drop it with something basic, a whole ladle. I actually have some leftover pizza seasoning from when we got pizza, like, I don't know, three years, COVID-19. I don't remember, but uh, I'm gonna throw that in because I'm kind of out of all my other condiments right now. Some chili flakes. Got some, I have no idea what that is, Italian seasoning, yeah. That's really good. I think that's oregano. And then you give it a good toss. If you have a wok that has handles on either side, it can be great because they are kind of soft, so you don't want to break them apart with a ladle or a spoon that could tear up the pieces. You want to maintain that shape. Chilies. Okay, I think that should do. The heat from this should be mellowed by the mayo, positively. Kitchen's an absolute mess. I actually hate it. I never like doing a mess, no matter what recipe I'm doing, which is why I got some inside, which is why I do simple recipes. So if I don't clear this now, I'm not gonna be in the mood to continue cooking. So let's get this sorted. We won't be needing that egg, so. And if you wanna zing it up a little, I have some chili tomato sauce. So you can drizzle that, do it on the pan, okay? You don't want it just like that, on the potatoes later. And you put it on the pan, it can kind of, you know, Gets slightly, very slightly burnt and add that wonderful flavor, which I personally like. So if you do, maybe you'll give it a shot and you maybe might like it. Toss, toss. That's done. Let's start plating. Whew, lovely. Cheeky little guy trying to escape. There he is. Obviously you need to blend the mayo a bit more to make it feel like it's mayo. It's slightly, uh, you know, Lesser on the fluffy end. I'm okay with that. If you're not, blend it. Okay. Wait, we have no proteins. Egg whites. Once again, another large portion because uh, we're doing less number of meals. Gotta get that protein in. Oh, I'm so sweaty today, man. I think the kitchen's become really hot because we were simultaneously boiling potatoes and this. A lot of steam. There go the egg whites. I love my oval plate, you know, I actually picked it out specifically because I was having larger meals and at one point, the round regular plates people were having at home was just not fitting all the food I was putting on it. 
and I generally tend to have high volume foods, which is why even uh, while dieting down, while losing body fat, my meal portions tend to stay large. Let's do that, nice. Ideally, you can chop some shallots or coriander leaves on top for some extra flavor. So let's dig into that. Mmm, a bit salty, but still okay. Not the potatoes, actually. The amount of extra salt I added for the potatoes while boiling actually came out perfect because of the draining. The mayo is slightly salty. So this is the type of meal which you can, you know, go to a fast food joint. Of course, not the egg whites. The rest, you can get it. And it can be, I'm not even kidding, twice or even four times as calorific. If you do it at home, that's the advantage. We control every single element that goes into the bowl. Like we would be controlling for the next, I don't know, 200, 250 days for the transformation. Catch you tomorrow.